Hi guys, it's me again, Kimberly, the 100% unofficial Better Queen. And in this video, I show you that everyone can do the perfect soldering job with such a soldering jig. And I show you how to make it. And the only thing that we need for a soldering jig is a clipboard and some cloth pins. So let's go shopping! Okay guys, here we go, we've got our clipboard, some cloth pins, a little bit of hot glue and I also have these small feet. And if you want, you can cut it here because we don't need the lower part of it, but um, it is also fine to, to keep it like this. I cut it for me. So what we are doing, we are taking these cloth pins and glue two on each other and glue those in here. And the reason is the following. Later on, we will have it like this. That if we have our connector here, we want to be able to hold the cable with one of these cloth pins. So make sure that we line this up. This is our position. And now we apply just a little bit of hot glue. Here, yeah, number one. And number two. So and if you want, you can put on these, these little feet so it stop, stops sliding around. So, so, and number four. And ready is our soldering jack. So and now the idea is we can put our connector in here. So our connector gets sold here. We can put our cable in here, line it up, and now everything stays in place and we have one hand for the iron and one hand for the solder. Okay, let's try it out. First we tin it a little bit. So give it a little bit of solder. Now we want to tin our cable and for this purpose we can put it in here like this. Wait until it's getting soaked in. And now that it is prepared, we just put our cable in here 
line it up with the connector, everything stays in place without needing a hand. Then we heat it up. Just add some solar, wait until it's getting soaked in, and that's it. Look, we've got a perfect connection. And when we also want to make the other side, we can do it like this. Again, put the connector in here. Now we route the, the cable through the lower cloth clip. Like this. Tin it a little bit. Take the cable. Tin this a little bit. Put it in here. Line it up again. Heat it. Add a little bit of solder. Wait until it's getting soaked in. And also a perfect connection. Fast, clean and easy. So and this works with quite all connectors. So with this EC5, this, this is the same. Or we can use um, these XT60 connectors. Just connector in here. Cable in here, line it up, boom. Or also with Swiss Deans. I hate to solder deans, but with this it's not too bad. Just connect in here. Cable again here. And look how easy now everything lines up. Just heat it up. Add some solder. And voila, also perfect connection. Now I want to change the connector from this battery from Dean's to XT90 because I drive XT90 on all my cars. So what we do first is we cut one of those cables, otherwise we make a short that we don't want. So we start with the red one. Positive. And even if we are using these XT90 connectors with this cover, we slide on a little bit of heat shrink and I'll show you later why. Was a little bit too short. No, it's fine. So now we hold the cable with our jig. And tin it. So positive is here. Put 
Don't forget the cover. Line it up like this, heat it, head solder, wait until it's getting soaked in. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more. And ready. A perfect connection and before we make the other put heat shrink over here Now we can cut the second one. Don't forget to route it through the cover. So now we Put in the connector like this again. About the positive cable through the lower clip. And we put heat shrink on here so that not accidentally we make a short between those both cables. So now we thin it again. everything up like this heat it add a little bit of solder wait until it's getting soaked in like this and also a perfect connection now we can undo it like this Put on our cover. And connectors changed. Okay guys, and as you can see, these are very handy when it comes to soldering connectors. And last year when I was in Pedalsworth. Oh, who's next? Kimberly. Oh, I got Kimberly. Oh my good God, Jesus Christ. I gave some of those to my friends from UK and they thought they are pretty handy. Oh, and check this out. I've got this little soldering jig here. Kimberly made this, uh, so I'm going to put a link to Kimberly's YouTube channel down below. She's one of the most extreme bashers out there. And when we went to Paddlesworth, her RCs uh, probably jumped higher and further than most. Uh, so this is quite funny, look. Hmm. Thanks, Kimberly. Bye bye, armor warranty. If you think this is handy and you want one and you don't want to build one on your own, now you can purchase them in my eBay store. So there's a link down in the description where you can get one of those. 
Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified, and see you in one of my next videos. Bye!